Welcome back to Soap with Joe. In today's episode, you'll see new surprising updates that may liven up the stagnant storyline so far. Of course, they will be just some hints I've collected from social networks, but they at least signal probable striking plots ahead. Don't you think you've had enough of the old same predictions on Sheila's demise? I hope that the writer will soon devise an ending for the lingering relationship between Steffi and Finn. Steffi should be offered some sympathy as she has to suffer from tremendous pressure. You'll see the detective is unlikely to buy her words, intensified by the testimony of Deacon, who harbors hatred for Sheila's presumed killer. In terms of Luna's trouble, she intends to reveal the truth to RJ and expects his forgiveness despite the preventative advice from Poppy and Zende. Looming questions are, is there any relation between the investigation into Steffi's case and the night Luna and Zende stayed together? Why is Luna's incident stirred up amid the entanglement of Sheila's death? Now it's time to have a deeper look at our spoilers for today. Let's start with Luna first. She will also be dealing with her own inner turmoil, burdened by a significant secret she's kept from RJ Forrester. Despite viewing RJ as the ideal boyfriend, Luna regrets hallucinating from Poppy Nozawa's special mints and subsequently betraying him with Zende. While the drug-induced incident wasn't her fault, her decision to withhold the truth from RJ is. The guilt of keeping this secret will eventually become too much for Luna, leading her to contemplate revealing everything to RJ. However, it looks like Poppy and Zendi will complicate her plans to come clean. At this point, I wish Luna would summon enough courage to tell RJ. While they try to persuade her that RJ wouldn't comprehend the situation, she still fears that RJ will feel bitterly betrayed once he discovers the truth himself. I also think he deserves to learn about what has happened to Luna so far. RJ might sense Luna's distress and inquire about her troubles. Luna could be forced to fabricate reasons for her changing emotions as RJ grows suspicious. Therefore, it seems inevitable that RJ will uncover the truth. It would be best for Luna to confide in him about all the secrets, potentially salvaging some of her credibility. Next, in another plot, Finn struggles to cope with the aftermath of Sheila's dire fate, exacerbated by Steffi's actions against Sheila. Despite attempting to move forward with Steffi, Finn's memories of Sheila burden him, leaving him feeling lost again. I bet that Finn must be regretful for abandoning his dear partner and heed the warning of many guys out there wishing to win her heart. Liam is likely to stay close to Steffi, seizing any opportunity to rekindle their romance as Steffi and Finn's relationship faces challenges. Hope and Deacon offer support to Finn during this difficult time, yet the question remains whether Sheila's death is truly final. Without concrete evidence, such as the detail of Sheila's body having nine toes, speculation about her possible survival continues. There's a hint that Sheila could still be alive, potentially involving a switch with her look-alike, Sugar. Deacon's recent goodbye to Sheila at the morgue could lead to unexpected news of her survival if Sheila decides the time is right to reveal herself. Regarding the investigation on Steffi's case, the situation is becoming worse than she initially thought. The incident at the Cliff House where Sheila Carter startled Steffi led her to act in self-defense. At that moment, Steffi's only thought was to protect herself, not considering the potential legal complications that might follow. Now, with Deputy Chief Bradley Baker probing into the incident, Steffi is forced to reckon with the possible legal ramifications, especially since Deputy Chief Baker's investigation relies heavily on her account, and the other involved party is now deceased. Now, the situation is complicated by the fact that there's no evidence to support Steffi's claim of forced entry by Sheila, making it look as though Steffi might have lured Sheila into a deadly ambush. This suspicion could grow if Deputy Chief Baker learns from Deacon that Steffi had expressed a desire for Sheila's death earlier on the same day. This could lead the Deputy Chief to speculate that Steffi took justice into her own hands. I think the detective should see the past event as the reference not a proof to blame Steffi to scheme a Vingafool plan. 
Despite Steffi's potential argument that Sheila was a known criminal who had previously attacked her and John Finn Finnegan, the fact that Sheila was ultimately released could lead Baker to question if Steffi sought revenge. This makes the situation appear as if it might have been a trap set by Steffi. Well, I wish a miracle would happen to Steffi. She's under enough pressure and has run out of hope with a husband who despises her and runs to another woman for solace. However, as speculated in my previous video, the case could take a significant turn if an unexpected witness who observed the events unfold comes forward. Such a development could either significantly help or harm Steffi's case, particularly if the witness is aligned with Sheila, further complicating Steffi's predicament. However, we can't help demonstrating the fact that the surprise witness will go against Steffi. I hope that the writer won't push it that far and please give her some justice because she deserves. Meanwhile, the relationship between Finn and Steffi hasn't shown any improvement. Steffi is poised to discuss things at his office. While Finn may hesitate to return to the Cliff House, Steffi's visit will prompt a crucial, albeit strained effort to address their issues. Steffi will express understanding of Finn's turmoil following the death of his biological mother, but will encourage him to come to terms with her challenging circumstances. Although they might start to see eye to eye, Finn will find himself haunted by memories of Sheila, affecting him deeply as the week progresses. Actually, I don't want to delve into the dynamics between Finn and Steffi, as Finn appears to be acting foolishly. Who do you think will be the witness watching Steffi and Sheila's face off in the cliff house? I guess it may drop a bombshell shaking the B&B world. However, I haven't figured out who it is while many fans believe that this mysterious character will clear Steffi of all accusations and inflict a shame on the detective who is processing the case too slowly. However, the looming questions are, how did the woman get in when we saw Steffi lock all the doors? Was there anyone helping Sheila? I think that someone must have turned the power off at the house. So the mysterious factor must be someone familiar with Steffi's habits and every corner of her house. Now, let me know your thoughts on this intriguing detail in the below comments. Until next time, bye.